Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and you are watching TTP New from Thailand Radio and Television Station. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, in the afternoon of December 5th, the 14th session of the People Culture of Thailand Province continued to take place. Delegates were divided into forums to discuss opinion on the draft resolution. Attending at the delegation group of the Provincial People's Council of Tenant City and Hoa Thanh District Units, there was Mr. Phạm Văn Tân, Deputy Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Chairman of Tenant Provincial People's Council, Delegate study the verification report of the Board of Provincial People's Council on the draft resolutions submitted to the session. They also consider and focus on discussion on the reports and draft resolution related to the field and projects of basic construction investment, resolution on state budget revenue estimates in locality, local budget revenues and expenditures in 2020, the resolution on stimulating the price of medical examination and treatment services, which are not covered by the Health Insurance Fund in the state medical facilities in Tenant Province. Resolution on specific policies to encourage businesses to invest in agriculture and rural areas in Tenant Province in the period of 2020-2025. Delegates discussed and commented on 24 draft resolutions submitted at the 14th session of the Provincial People's Council, in which 22 resolutions submitted by the Provincial People's Committee, two resolutions submitted by the Provincial Standing People's Council. Through the group discussion, the delegates highly agree with the draft resolutions. In the morning of December 6, the 14th session of the Night People's Council of Tenant Province 2016-2021 term took place with the question and answer sessions of the delegates. The National Target Program on Building New Rural Area is one of the key tasks of Tenant Province. In 2019, most six communes have met the new rural standard, bringing the total number of standard communes up to 42 per 81, reaching 100% of the 2019 plan. The capital source of the program integrating with other capital sources, mobilizing people, the social economic infrastructure of these communes have been continuously taken interest in investing, built and upgraded 206 kilometers of rural traffic roads, constructed 64 standard schools, upgraded 13 centers of culture and sports to solidify 14.3 kilometers of inner field canals. By October 31, 2019, Six classes were organized with the attendance of 452 commute level carers and civil servants, reaching 75% of the plan. The implementation of policy to support rural household water treatment system in the province to 2020, the province has been targeted support of 12 billion Việt Nam Dung so that district can install water treatment systems continuously operate 67 concentrated water supply works, deploy the project of building a temporary garbage storage point in Camus, that try to meet new rural standards in 2019 in Trang Bang, Bến Cầu District and Tenen City. Two High Victory Relic is currently chosen by the Provincial People's Committee, the Culture, Sport and Tourism Branch, to be one of the province point relics that need to be strengthened in management, conservation and promotion of cultural heritage values associated with tourism development planning. Two High Victory Relic is a national historical site which marks an important and landmark historical event, opening a new mode of revolutionary fighting in the South, the period which changed from force maintaining to attack against enemy. The influence of two high victories spread to other provinces of the Southeast, igniting Đồng Khởi fire in the region. In April 2019, Deputy Prime Minister Vũ Đức Đàm emphasized the spirit of two high victory, merit of martyrs and patriots remain forever. Thanks to that merit, the descendants are willing to try their utmost effort for the cause of motherland building and defending so that Vietnam can step up onto the glorious estate and compete with the worldwide, which alcohol and the heroic martyrs used to wish. 
the Deputy Prime Minister also expected Tenen Province to continuously invest and build the sign up to high victory relic into a red abreast of returning to the roots. Ladies and gentlemen, the synchronous construction and development of infrastructure, especially traffic, is one of three breakthrough solutions for economic and social development in the province, from the center of city to the new rural areas. There has been a obvious chance creating excitement for the people. We are going to introduce to you in the following report. Up. With the goal of mobilizing resources to focus on investing in social economic infrastructure, the party committees at town level and authorities in the province have strengthened the leadership, implementation from province to district communes, issue and carry down mechanisms, policies in order to mobilize resources, especially from land, businesses and people, mechanism and policy for compensation of ground clearance for social economic infrastructure, focus on speed up the implementation, completion of the lifting of bridge law in key routes, investing in key traffic routes as a driving force to accelerate industrial development. Besides, the district and the city also took advantage of resources closely coordinated with departments branches to mobilize investment capital for infrastructure to construction that have just promoted economic development as well as ensure the people's daily life to prioritize investment. Since then, the construction of infrastructure has strongly, positively and comprehensively changed, creating favorable conditions for tenants to develop quickly. In 2019, the social development the investment achieved nearly 34 trillion Việt Nam Dung, accounting for more than 42% of GRTB, increasing 22% over the same period. In the field of commercial services, the project of CD areas of Long Hoa Market has been put into operation. The supermarkets invested by Ho Chi Minh City Trade Cooperative Union are expected to be completed in Yu Minh Châu and Tân Bình Thảo's continue to complete legal procedure in order to call for investment in a supermarket project in Bến Cầu Thảo, project of hotel and trade center in Gò Dầu Thảo. Tenant is changing day by day. Except special routes, many industrial manufacturing factories, small handicraft industry facilities have contributed positively to economic growth and employment for laborers. The proportion of agriculture, forestry, and fishery accounted for 25.5% of GRDP at 2010 comparative prices. Tenant's agriculture is gradually shifting to commodity production. Across the fields today, everywhere is a green color of sugarcane, cassava rubber tree, rice paddies, etc., providing materials for production and processing of factories. Tenant farmers have shifted from handicraft production to mechanization. Many sugarcane fields have yielded up more than 100 tons per hectare. Many agricultural cooperatives have been established, while the farms, new models of animal husbandry with high efficiency, have been put into production. The national target projects and programs supporting and developing rural agricultural projects, especially the province high-tech agricultural development policy, have been implemented with the attendance of many farmers and businesses. People's life have been raised. GRDP per capita in 2019 reached $2,940,000 US dollars. Investment in rural infrastructure has been also one of the goals of the province's interest in regular implementation from the capital source of new rural construction program integrated with other programs. In 2019, Tenen has built more than 206 km of rural roads, solidified more than 14 km of inner field canals, built 64 national standard schools, upgraded 13 communal level centers of culture, sport, and community learning. In 2019, the whole province has six more new rural communes, increasing number of 42 communes. Hòa Thành District is a district unit with 100% of communes completing new rural construction. The basics of taxi has been assigned by Tenant Provincial People's Committee in implementing the national target program on building a new countryside, which is to strive by 2020, 53 per 80 communes will reach the new rural standards. 
Besides, by 2020, there will be at least five couples meeting the new rural standard. The average income per capita in rural areas in the province will reach 50 million Vietnam per person per year, reduce the annual rate of poor household to 1.3%. The percentage of people participating in health insurance of 81%. The percentage of rural households using clean and hygienic water of 99%. According to the overall assessment of the Steering Committee for New Rural Construction in Tân Province, the construction of new rural areas in Tân is positively changing, but also faces many difficulties and challenges. Tân still has to make more efforts in the context of limited provincial budget source, but with the strong efforts of the authority, the efforts of the people, and people in the rural areas of Tân province can help a prosperous countryside, where the infrastructure basically meets the needs of people's daily life. It is also the goal that Tân Party Committee as on level over the term has set out, have been turning to develop and iterate. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.